Dripping. Damage report. We have suffered critical damage to all major systems, Lord Megatron. It will be some time before we can get the ship airborne. Soundwave. So it was an Autobot who crippled my vessel. They will move quickly to exploit any perceived weakness. Surely they're not foolish enough to launch a direct assault, my liege. Optimus has grown decidedly more ruthless since our last encounter. Lord Megatron, as your physician, I strongly advise against this. Dark Energon's regenerative properties are impressive, but the side effects. There's no telling how it might impact the ship. Dark Energon courses through my veins. Infusing the warship will enable me to manipulate the craft as if we are one. And together, we shall crush Optimus Prime. Insecticon suddenly backed off. I got inspired by my proximity to the power core and did what I do best. You trashed Megatron's ride like a rock star in a hotel room. We should hit the cons right now while they're vulnerable. Megatron's warship may be grounded, but let's not forget that we remain vastly outnumbered, especially since he has added the Insecticon hive to his wrecks. Then maybe it's time for me to call in an airstrike. Or for us to consider more extreme measures, Agent Fowler. The Spark Extractor? Optimus, are you certain you want to travel down this path? While I am deeply reluctant to deploy a weapon of this caliber, especially one forged by Decepticon hands, this may be our only chance to end the war, once and for all. Optimus, I'm detecting a massive energy spike at the Decepticon crash site. It appears to be Dark Energon. Autobots, transform and roll out. Hold on, Prime. If you are going to deploy some kind of super weapon in a final showdown with the cons, it's my job as a representative of planet Earth to bear witness. Sweet Lady Liberty! Optimus, you never disappoint. Bumblebee now! RC, Bulkhead, draw their fire!
Once you launch the spark extractor, be sure to clear its radius before it can activate. I didn't realize the ship was equipped with a stasis beam. So much for Christmas in Fiji. Huh? The Spark Extractor! Guide us closer so that I may collect what belongs to me and destroy the Autobots. Teams down. Requesting medevac. Where are you going? I said closer! Lord Megatron, the ship seems to be navigating itself. Override! <laughs> the systems are bypassing manual control! <laughs> ah! It appears the ship now possesses a will of its own. Impossible! Trace the problem to its source and fix it! Do not tamper with my systems. This will be your only warning. Warning? My mission assumes priority. Any Cybertronian who interferes will be neutralized. My own vessel dares to address me in threatening tones! It also seems to be doing a better job of decoding the Project Iacon database than we were. It's already deciphered a new set of coordinates. And judging by our current course, that is precisely where the ship is headed. As I desire. You see, this warship is nothing more than an extension of my very will. Your will is nothing. The Iacon artifact will belong to me. I am Lord Megatron! I command you to cease operations! You are no longer in command. Ah! Regain control of this vessel by any means necessary. All hands! Cut power to the mainframe, and disconnect data relays, now! They're alive, but I've never encountered this form of stasis lock. The cons are crossing the Atlantic, making a beeline for North America. Wait, we can track them? Why aren't they cloaked, like usual? None of this makes a lick of sense. They had us in the crosshairs, but the cons just took off. They even bailed on that spark extractor thingy. 
Well, if the ship isn't cloaked, maybe the communications relay's open, and- Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Are you suggesting that we just call Megatron and ask him what's happening up there? Lord Megatron, the computer has decrypted a second set of coordinates. Perhaps we should permit it to continue. Uh, I do not require permission. Autobot Outpost Omega-1 to Decepticon warship. Megatron, please respond. This mutiny is now. Megatron. Megatron has been relieved of his command. Who is this? Who is this? Have you taken control of the Decepticon vessel? I am the vessel. Any Cybertronian who interferes with my mission will be neutralized. What mission? Priority one. Decrypt Iacon database and recover Decepticon technology. For what purpose? It hung up? Rude. Rude? There's a giant spaceship flying around collecting Decepticon weapons of mass destruction. A, a giant spaceship filled with neutralized Decepticons. Point? This could be our only chance to slip aboard and download the Iacon database. So Optimus can decode it. Ingenious. I will infiltrate the Decepticon warship. Not ingenious. You saw what it did to the Decepticons. And probably Megatron, too. And Team Prime. But that tub had me dead to rights, and I'm still breathing. The ship may be blind to humans. Very well, Agent Fowler. But at the first sign of trouble, I am bridging you right back here. Now, in order to download the database, you will need a compatible transfer drive. Uh, what? He'll also need tech support. And backup. Follow the base. We're in. Good. Their data core should be accessible from any console. Well, here's one. Doc Knock is knocked out. Look, the ship's decoded two sets of icon coordinates. Three. Let's rip and run. There's the port. Um, why is the warship heading for Manhattan? Because that's where the first set of coordinates are located? What would a relic from Cybertron be doing in the Big Apple? The Iacon relics landed on Earth eons ago, Agent Fowler. Long before the city was built atop it. Which means if the ship wants this one, it may have to move some buildings out of the way. Our mission just got complicated. How do we deter this ship? I would advise disabling the navigation module. Call up the main navigation menu. There. Step aside, son. Agent Fowler! Uh, system access detected. Interference will not be tolerated. There. Reveal yourself.
It doesn't see us. Yet. The ship must not be scanning for carbon-based life forms. But once it widens its search parameters... We're toast. I'm bridging you back. No. There are millions of lives at stake in New York. And we three are currently the only ones who can do anything about it. You're out of your element, Jack. These readings, the ship's rapid recovery, all point to the fact that Megatron employed Dark Energon to repair it. Hold on. If you're saying the ship is fueled by Dark Energon, we can dump it, right? Hmm. You'll need to reverse the warship's Energon infuser. Follow the main overhead conduits. They'll lead you to the power core. <laughs> Had the same idea. Then we're on the right track. The Energon ejection valve can only be operated manually. Manually? Give me a boost. and walnuts and grandma. That's all that's been downloaded? The icon file must be huge. Sweet! Come on, here's our ride! Uh. Jack? Get Fowler out of here. 
guess some is better than nothing. I'm not leaving without that drive. for a second opinion. The download of the Iacon database may have been incomplete, but we now possess four sets of coordinates decoded by the ship. Then we must act quickly, for Megatron possesses the same four sets. And he will not hesitate to obtain the potential doomsday devices which lie at the site of each. Thank you.